Hi, and welcome to Crypto Crazy. I'm Cal, and today I'm going to talk to you about SafeMoon. And you've probably seen that it has skyrocketed in price. I mean, that was just a thousand percent up uh, just a few minutes ago, and it's gone down a little bit closer to 900. And that just goes to show how volatile these coins are. But what I want to do in this video is tell you about what Safe Moon is and what it has got coming up for it. And also, if you've, if you've seen it about also what I would consider in terms of um, an investment or not, it really does depend on what your risk strategy is. I, in actual fact, had someone mention Safe Moon to me yesterday morning, and he said it had been up 250%. And I actually said it's probably a bit late to to get into it. And by the evening, it had been up 500%. And he said, well, it might definitely be late to get into it. And now, 24 hours later, it's up another 900%. So you really can't know. And even the volume, uh, yesterday evening, it was about a million. Before, a couple of days ago, it was about 100,000. Now, from my perspective... I had a look at it and looking at the project, I generally don't try to take too much risk. Now, yes, you can put a little bit of money into it, but you never know with project, it might go up, it might not. Uh, you know, this, this could continue to go up a lot more. It could con continue to go down a considerable amount. At the moment, it's sitting at around about uh, a market cap of 40 million now, and, and there's not many holders either. So that that could easily double triple in the next couple of days and that wouldn't be anything that strange in the crypto world especially when more and more people now see that it's this coin that has gone up a lot and start looking into it and that's why i just wanted to mention a little bit about it and i think also from my experience what can happen when you see something like this you jump on and then the price doesn't quite go the way that you would want it to so just having a look at the protocol what it is and it's very much just a coin and this tells you about a story about how there there, there was a developer and he thought of this idea but what it very much is is you're you're buying a coin and if you sell then you are penalized for selling by 10 percent and when that sell happens that 10 percent it goes five percent gets burnt and five percent will get locked up in a liquidity pool on pancake swap so it's making it scarcer and scarcer. And as you see here, it says uh, the liquidity pool pre-sale event uh, has the liquidity locked up for four years to foster trust in the contract. So it's it's a considerable amount of time as well. So that's the way it kind of works. And it talks about how it was a DX sale on the network. And it mentions here it's a decentralized token management platform. And uh, it's a fair way of making sure that everyone it gets into the coin pretty, pretty fairly. And even the developers weren't allocated any coins. They had to join in on the pre-sale as well. And here, if we just have a look at the, the, the coins, <laughs> it's, it's incredible. Because even at the moment, after having 223 trillion of them burnt, there's still 777. In actual fact, there are more that have been burnt now. So as you can see, there was a, a very large number of how many there were initially. And as it mentions here that, that I said, 10% penalty sale tax for sellers, 5% is redistributed. So if you're holding it, you are actually rewarded for holding it. So if you continue to hold it, those who keep on selling and you hold it, it will keep on uh, being redistributed to you. 10% of the amount that has been sold and 5% is getting locked up, so it's it's getting scarcer and scarcer as well. So that's, that's just a, a kind of a general overview. But as you're thinking, well, if that's what all the coin is doing, well, what more is it to there? Because it, it talks about that here, it's 100% community owned. Uh, like I mentioned, the automatic liquidity pool and the rewards that you get, static rewards, because you're just holding it. But here's the, the roadmap. Now, it's very, very basic. And this is what I wanted to mention in terms of it is always a risk and you never know what people would do in terms of where well, they would jump onto a concept like this and start buying as you've seen there 
it's, it's gone up so much in the last two days uh, or they would just very much not like the idea. Now, that that's the concept and that's what's been launched just now. They're talking about marketings and listings and really just kind of getting it out there and trying to get more people on board. And I, and I think that would genuinely happen. Now, one thing to bear in mind is when there is a downturn in the market, whenever that might be, it may or may not happen, but in the past certainly what has happened are the coins that are not as big projects that are fairly new, that don't have as much behind them, they tend to fall a lot harder. And uh, I saw that in the, the 2018, beginning of 2018 crash, a lot of coins that I had pretty much lost 98, 99% of their value. And soon after, they just couldn't keep on going because they didn't have the liquidity. A lot of, well, a lot of the problems back then was, is that a lot of coins kept their funding in Ether. So when Ether did crash as well, they didn't have as much money as they did have before the crash. So they didn't liquidate it into, into cash. So something to, to bear in mind. So later on in the year, they, they want to get listing on multiple exchanges, partnerships, and they don't go into too much detail. And, and I guess they might not know that what, what that would be. So I think if the market doesn't have a major downturn at the moment for the last month or so, it's been kind of moving sideways. And if that continues to happen and there isn't too much of a downturn, then a project like this, I think, will continue to thrive in the sense that people will keep on buying, holding, they get rewarded for it. Coins keep on getting burnt, getting sold, getting put in liquidity. And so it's getting scarcer and scarcer and your pot is growing every time people are, are selling. And then th this is what kind of makes it a bit more interesting. Now, I'd, again, NFT conceptualization. So what are they going to be doing? They're going to be doing NFT marketplace, NFT staking, and even in the white paper, it doesn't go into too much detail, but this is what they've kind of got planned for the year. Now, I I imagine what what some people might be thinking, this kind of goes just goes into how, how you can you can buy it. Some people may be thinking, well, it's already gone up so much in these two days. Is it really worth getting into it? Now, that's a, like I said at the story at the start, it was a it was something that was posed as a question yesterday. You know. Yesterday morning, it's already gone up 250% in a day. Is it really worth getting into it now? And the amazing thing is, since then, it's gone up 20x. So from yesterday morning to today, in my time, it's half past five in, in the evening now. Uh, it, it could potentially have been something that I could have got into. But at the time, I looked at it and I thought, well, no, maybe not. Maybe I'll see how this goes. Now, I think the same sort of thing for the future. Now, if this is the market cap, there's no reason why this can't go up. Now, I, I personally would think that there might be a better buying in point. I think there's going to be a lot of people who bought in yesterday, maybe the day before, even earlier on today, who've seen significant growth and would want to book in those profits. Some people might want to hold on. So maybe that there will be some selling up of it as well. And like I said, this was much higher a little while ago, just no, no more than probably about 10, 20 minutes ago. So I think with that in mind, it's potentially something that you could get into. And if you are buying into it, if it does to turn begin to turn down, you've got to be in it for a much longer term. In the short term, it could go up a little bit more people getting into it. But I think once the market caps starts to increase to a significant amount, then people will be looking at, well, where's the value coming from this coin? Yes, they want to get into uh, NFT, maybe later on, right at the end of the year, they're going to be looking at listing, marketing, but how much more could it be? But that being said, people clearly like this idea. So, which is why it's it shot up a considerable amount and which is why the volume has gone up pretty much a hundredfold in the space of two days. So, something that I just wanted to bring more detail out to you. Uh, and, and clearly they weren't prepared for this because at the moment this is this is working, but there's sometimes when you refresh this, and this happens, resource limit reached, which is basically mean there's so many people using it, they cannot keep up with it. So clearly a lot more demand than even they had expected. So there you have it, just a kind of a brief overview. You might have seen this out. I mean, look at this, this jumping around a, a considerable amount even there. Just wanted to let you know what Safe Moon is, why 
it's gone up. Just wanted to share a little bit about what my experience is. And, and also, like I said, I've looked at it for the last day to two and how I've seen it kind of go. And, and just to let you know, you should always buy in what is in line with your strategy. If you've got a plan, even if it does downturn, maybe it'll go up much longer. And also, if it does begin to turn down, are you okay with taking that loss? Because sometimes things do turn around very, very quickly. So hopefully you're a little bit more educated about SafeMoon. Sorry, I can't tell you much more about it because like I said, they haven't given that much detail. At the moment, it very much is, if you sell it, you pay 10%, 5% gets locked away, 5% gets um, redistributed. And maybe later on, we're gonna be doing some NFT. And, and between that time, we're going to be promoting it, trying to get it listed a lot more. It's 100% for the community. I think that's a great thing that they've done. Um, I also like the fact that the go the guys who developed it, they had to get in on the pre-sale as well. They didn't just get allocated some. So I think from that point of view, that they're doing it the right way. Uh, and they are very much a, as they, they call it, decentralized autonomous organization, which I think is a, is a, is a great concept. So there you go. That's Safe Moon. Hopefully you found that informative. <laughs> Hopefully that informs your decision a bit better in terms of if you're considering getting into it or even even if you got into it or you're trying to think about selling it. Um, again, do give me a like if you have enjoyed that. Do consider subscribing. I do bring out quite a, a range of videos of the crypto world. I've been Cal. This is Crypto Crazy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.